Mm. That's, that's good amazing. For, that's isn't it? Yeah. I haven't seen anyone else do it the way I do it. That's really good, guys. video I'm going frogging so frogging is something I love doing um, we're in Nebraska frogging season opens up August 15th today is August 15th on the east side of the state today's August 15th so I'm meeting up with Mike Kuwaiti on the crazy Kuwaiti channel YouTube channel uh, he just happens to live up the road from me so we're we are going to head out there to the lake. We're gonna set up camp. We're gonna frog. Uh, we're gonna do a catch and cook. It's gonna be a good time. So stick around. And I guarantee you, you've never seen anyone cook frog legs like I do. I don't. I don't fry them. So stay tuned. Should be a good one. Here we go. Guys, we made it. What's up? Mr. Mike Quady. We got the ISO power tent set up. We got the Kodiak canvas truck tent set up. Uh, got my kayak in down there by the water. Uh, I'll be running a couple GoPros on that. And we're, we're fixing to go get some frogs. Here we go. So this is basically a spot and stalk frog, frog hunt. I just toss these frogs out blind. Then you see them jump. Oh no, I should have made them. What you got? I got two. Sweet. I lost one right here. Right, yeah, right in front of the camera. Just ah. bloop. I fucked up too. My net wasn't ready. I had my net stowed. Mm -hmm. I, I should have had that one. It was a good one too. Ah. It, it was probably a six inch. Ah. Awesome. So I got two. I've seen three. Two smalls and that big one. Mm. Pretty. Uh. I heard a couple over here. I don't know where they were at. Couldn't find them. Wow, they're just so tied in that in that cut bank. Oh yeah. Um, there's just no. It's hard to get it up in there. Yeah, and there's no like solid vegetation. No, not for them really. to sit on. I think we got a keeper here.
for me. Alright, number number three maybe. I think he might just be there. Not huge. Definitely not huge. Might just be legal. We got number three. Ooh. Yeah, he's a good one. That's. I feel like that's definitely. Uh, maybe been recording. Wasn't recording for the hookup, guys. The battery just died, and I caught this monster dog frog right here. We're gonna put a measurement to him before we lose him. Oh no! <laughs> oh. So, frogs will be harmed making this video. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, it's pretty gruesome to clean a frog. It's pretty brutal. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show it and not monetize the the video. It's pretty oh, oh. slippery little buggers. Pretty easy. You want to knock them out? that they clamp their head underneath there you want to take a knife and cut their back right behind their head oh I forgot to cut the feet off you want a good pair of kitchen shears that back to the lake take your pliers just pull them pull their pants off just like that you want to cut them at their hips and then split them and put them in Water with a little bit of salt. Just like that. Now we're gonna go catfishing with these later tonight. So we'll put the rest of them on a hook. 
that's how you clean a clean a frog. All right, guys, we're gonna cook up some frogs. So the way I do it is I don't I don't fry them like everyone else. I like to grill my frogs. Um, we got them here. They've been soaking for about 20 minutes in some salt water. And I, what I like to do is I like to take some coconut oil, which gives them a little sweet, a little sweetness. Then I like to mix. Bugs all over. I like to mix it up with some Old Bay seasoning. So this stuff has been around uh, forever since I was a kid. Bunch of that in there. Give that a good mixing. Now, uh, coconut oil has a flash point. I believe it's it's here 300, 350, not flash point, but smoke point. So you're gonna want to go low and slow on your grill uh, with this. Throw it in there, just like that. Throw them up on the grill. Mm. And then we'll keep basting them. I might even add a little bit more Old Bay to this, this guy here. Or I might just sprinkle a little Old Bay on them while they're on the grill. And then as they're grilling, I'll pour Pour a little bit, or I'll take a take a broom here and keep that stuff going on them. Still, still twitching. Are they? A little bit. Coat of oil. Not too much so it doesn't flare up. Pyro. I think we're ready here. Oh. Uh, we're gonna eat some frog legs. We've got them cooked up here. It's gotten dark out. And we're gonna give these guys a taste test. Uh, I've only had these things fried before. I've never had them grilled like Jeremy did it. So, uh, this will be new and this will be different.
We'll give it a shot. Probably go. super hot. They are pretty warm. Yeah. Seasoning tastes good though. Mm. That's, That's good. That's amazing. That's isn't it? Yeah. I haven't seen anyone else do it the way I do it. Now what does that taste like? Besides chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good, guys. Little, little coconut sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. Little Old Bay. The Old Bay sets it off for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is definitely the way you cook your frog legs. I think so too. Yeah. Very good. Well, guys, I'm going to close this one out. So, um, it's been fun. Mike, great time as always. Maybe, maybe we'll do another frog leg at a lake with uh, more frogs, bigger <laughs> frogs. So, oh. <laughs> and with that, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys later.